Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dionysia Theodora of Gerinopoulou and I am a member of the Hellenic Parliament. I represent not a single region but the whole territory of my beautiful country Greece. I am also the founder and director of the European Institute of Law, Science and Technology, a research NGO and an attorney specialized in international environmental law and policy, ADR, climate change law and international institutions law. I am very much honored to join this extraordinary group of the Young Global Leaders of the World Economic Forum. I perceive the Young Global Leaders Forum to be a dynamic, result-oriented network of alternative diplomacy. This is a network that can make things happen. The Young Global Leaders are not, as said, the next generation's leaders, but rather the leaders of today. This is because contemporary challenges require innovative and effective solutions by us right now. Innovation, effectiveness and immediate response are three of the common features of the young global leaders. On top of that, we know very well that if we don't help the local communities to face their issues now, their issues can take widespread dimensions and affect all of us globally. I look forward to participating in the Redesign Our World project and help improve existing international institutions and decision-making processes. The Environmental and Humanitarian Risk Response Project is an essential platform of activities for me, since one of my priorities is to help restore the natural and the social capital of my hometown, Zaharo, and the greater region of Olympia and Tilia that are still suffering after the wildfires of 2007 in Greece. On the regional level, I would like to establish a coordinating unit of voluntary assistance in cases of natural disasters, as well as a climate change center for the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. On the international level, the establishment of a World Environment Organization under the auspices of the United Nations is a lifetime dream for me. A World Environment Organization will better mainstream the environmental considerations in policies such as trade, economy, research and development, education, agriculture and employment. It will gather and disseminate environmental information and data. It will develop international environmental law and policy and strengthen the review, implementation and enforcement mechanisms. A World Environment Organization will promote public health, will promote the quality of life and will promote the balance of ecosystems. The global governance system in general needs to be reorganized. In the view of the recent financial crisis in many countries, including my home country Greece, we need to find innovative ways to redesign a more effective, accountable and ethical global financial system. To redesign our world, we need to draw on our global human resources. I call you to join us. Thank you.